fasting and the carnivore diet. Fasting definitely has a place in different healing protocols, but right now might not be the time and place for fasting. So go ahead and join me for this video and we will figure out if this is a good time and place for you to do fasting or if it's something that's going to come later down the road. First of all, what are the benefits of fasting? There are tons of benefits of fasting. Um, it gives your body a break from digestion and that's really where the benefit comes in. It puts you in deep ketosis, which if you haven't been in ketosis any before, then you will definitely be in ketosis fasting. Um, it stimulates autophagy, which is like while your body is needing to get food from somewhere and it's burning through fat cells, it goes ahead and kind of finds the cells that are older or need to be replaced and go and kind of just performs a cleanup. That's autophagy, your body eating its own cells, which in the case of fat cells, um, many of us do like that benefit. For weight loss, um, fasting obviously provides a good calorie deficit. It can help you get through a stall in weight loss, and it can just kind of overall um, stimulate your body to be healing, which a part of weight loss that is often discounted is the healing. Fasting is also excellent for helping you rebalance your hormone hormones. It's excellent for encouraging your body to put on lean body mass. It raises your growth hormone. Um, which is the same hormone that helps with your metabolism and it can it gives you an overall sense of well-being. Fasting can be a great thing in people's mental health protocol as well. What kind of fasting is there? There is both intermittent fasting and longer term fasting. For the sake of this video, we are going to talk about intermittent fasting as any fast that is less than 24 hours in length and longer term fasting is any fast that is more than 24 hours in length. And so fasting usually uses just water and some electrolytes if you need it, like sea salt. Um, you can do like a bone broth fast where you're also having broth, or you can do a fat fast where you're only having fast, um, fat, sorry. <laughs> but in general, to get the main benefits of fasting, um, all the studies reference usually water fasting with a little bit of sea salt. And so that will give you the most benefits as you ease into fasting, you could start with a different variety and then um, go into more strict. So intermittent fasting is something that everybody does every day. While you're asleep, you are definitely fasting. Fasting is any period of not consuming calories. So most of us will fast like eight, 12 hours for sure overnight. And that your fasting period starts when food stops entering your mouth. So just for simplicity, even though you know you have a full stomach and like you're digesting food, you can start your fast as soon as you stop eating. So if we eat dinner at like five, we're done by 5.30, and then we don't eat the following day until nine, that is a good intermittent fast. Common things for people that are trying to get the benefits of increased muscle mass growth, um, increased HCG level, lowering glucose, getting deep into ketosis, you'll trade a fast for at least 16 hours. And so that puts your eating window at eight hours. And so during your eating window is when you're eating and then during your fasting window is when you're fasting. So that would be a 16, eight fast. Longer term fasting is something that a lot of people do. Um, you can do a 24 or 36 hour fast to break through a weight loss stall or to just kind of clear your head if you need to take a break and like really focus on something. Um, it's good to build yourself up to do longer day long fasts eventually. Pregnant and nursing mothers will never want to do longer term fasting. Um, children never fast, but giving kids a nice fast of 12, 14 hours overnight can allow their body to put energy into growing, put energy into healing and repairing damaged cells. Um, so it's not in a constant state of digestion. So while I'm going to say that children never fast, I will say that I feed my children three solid meals a day and they do fast between those meals. And I do think that break of break from digestion is super important for them. So it is totally okay if you are on the carnivore diet. If you came from, to the carnivore diet from the keto diet, you might have been in the habit of fasting, whether it's inter, inter, intermittent fasting or longer day-long fasts. And when you start carnivore, you might find that it's more difficult to fast. And that is completely okay. What that means is that your body is kind of in a period of healing where it needs this really good nutrition. And so your body will recognize that it's eating food that it can put to use. 
And if that's what it's doing, you may find yourself unable to fast where you previously could on keto. Another reason that you feel like you can't fast is if your um, body fat percentage is too low. So there's like a healthy body fat percentage. And if you are going towards the low side of healthy, like looking at the BMI chart, then you might find that your body has a hard time fasting. And in that case, you want to wait to fast until you have more body fat on you. So fasting can... Fasting can definitely be a part of people's weight loss program, can be part of people's health program, but it is completely normal to be in a period of feasting or a period of fasting. And you may find that during the summer or during the winter, your body is more prone to wanting to fast. And um, during the opposite season, it's more prone to wanting to eat more. So this is all kind of individual. I wanted to check in with my fasters. Um, for those who have heard about it, want to know if it's necessary, um, it's very individual. It definitely can fit with carnivore, but it's definitely not something everybody's going to have to do all the time.